Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. A lot of folks when they come into our office want to know what their x-rays look like and they have basically three questions. Number one, can you help me? Number two, how long is it going to take? And number three, how much is it going to cost? And when we look at the x-rays, they see things on the x-rays, they're not sure what they are and their first thought is, is this cancer? And the answer is almost always no, just so you know. But we want to explain to you that structure affects function. The structure of the spine will affect how well the spine works. So let's talk about that for a second. If we were to look at a normal, healthy spine from the rear, all the bones should be straight. Now your brain sits up here, right? In most cases. And the brain sends messages down your spine, out your nerves, to every part of your body. So right now there's a nerve going to your arm. And if I said move your arm, you could. Move your leg, nod your head. You have control of your body because your brain tells it what to do. We're good with that so far? Good. If I were to cut the nerve to your arm, you'd be paralyzed. Doesn't matter how much you think, how hard you try, and no matter what drug, rub, potion, lotion, scrub we put on you, it's not going to work because the brain cannot get the messages to the arm. Now, if I were to twist the bone out of place, it could pinch a nerve. And if we pinch a nerve, it can affect the function of the messages from the brain to the body, but not at 100%, like cutting the nerve. So the arm would still work, it's just not going to work properly. So if a bone moves out of place and pinches a nerve, one thing that happens is we might experience pain. So when you think about this, if I'm pinching your finger and it hurts, how can we stop the pain? Stop pinching your finger. Well, the same thing happens with the spine. If a bone is pinching a nerve and it hurts, put the bone back in place, unpinch the nerve, and the pain goes away. Make sense? I don't know how to make it any clearer. This hurts, this doesn't. However, 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. This is important. You don't feel your heartbeat, but it's controlled by a nerve. You don't feel your lungs breathe. You don't feel your pancreas make insulin. So my concern today is not just the nerves that feel pain that are being pinched. My concern is we're pinching nerves that don't feel pain. These are the nerves that go to the organs. And so now the organs will malfunction. Not necessarily cutting the nerve to the organ, but just pinching the nerve so the organ's not working at 100%. Now think about this. What kills most people? Heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure. None of these things hurt. So we can have a pinched nerve affecting an organ and you don't feel pain. So I want to put the spine straight, number one, because it feels better. Number two, because we open up nerves to organs. And then number three, if a bone is out of alignment, it will rub against the bones above and below it. And the thing to wear out first is this cushion in here that we call a disc. If the disc wears out, the bones get closer and closer together and they crush the nerve. Nerves control organs. That's right back where we started from. So the importance of getting the spine lined up, number one, it causes pain, number two, it pinches nerves to organs, and number three, the spine will wear out. So I can't think of a more logical thing to do than get the spine lined up when it comes to health care. Everything else is fine, I'm not against surgery, I'm not against drugs, I'm not against herbs and potions and lotions, but we have to get the structure functioning so that the function can function normally. Make sense? So let's take a look at this. If we were to look at an x-ray, from this view, all the bones should be straight. If the bones are twisted, they're pinching nerves. From the side view, I know this is counterintuitive, the neck should have a curve. Now a neck with a 60 degree curve is about 16 times stronger than a neck without a curve. And that's because arches are stronger than straight lines. I mean, think about this. If you're building something that has to hold a lot of weight, what do you build? Arches. Your feet have arches, bridges have arches, roofing is arched. Because a weight is applied to an arch, it will flex and give. If we lose the arch, now whatever weight is applied is going to be pounding down on the spine, will cause the discs to wear out. If the disc wears out, the bones get closer and closer together, they pinch the nerves, nerves control organs, and there we are again. So when you see a commercial on TV and says, oh, I have arthritis and I took a pill and I was able to play hockey with my grandkids. The pain is the least important part of the arthritis. Pain is a warning sign. Pain is telling you something's wrong. You take your pulse, it's a vital sign. Take your blood pressure, it's a vital sign. Pain is a vital sign. We can monitor your health by your pain level. So again, front view straight, side view curved. So let's look at a real x-ray. And let's see what an x-ray that isn't normal might look like. Okay? So we'll bring up this x-ray here. Now, we can see this here. The neck should have a curve like this. This neck is actually 
straight. So what's happening now, the weight of the head, instead of having this cushion underneath or this spring, doesn't have that spring underneath it, so the weight of the head is pounding down on the spine. Eventually will cause the spine to wear out. And we can see here, these are called bone spurs. The spine is starting to wear out. This case, most likely, the head was snapped backwards at a very high velocity, kind of like a car accident. And what's called the anterior longitudinal ligament was most likely damaged. The body lays down calcium to make the anterior longitudinal ligament stronger. Well, if we have calcium in a ligament, we lose flexibility. And if we lose flexibility, the spine will wear out quicker. So a normal spine should have a curve. This spine is straight. Guaranteed, 100%, this spine will deteriorate. These discs will wear out if we don't fix it. Make sense? Good. Okay. Let's look at the front view now. From the front view, the spine should be straight. And we can even change contrast here. And this spine is pretty straight, which is good. So just because you have one view, that's not any way you can tell someone's health. You have to look at both views. Okay? Now we can look at the low back as well. In the low back on this patient, the spine should be straight. It's not bad, but right up in here, the bones start to twist over slightly. Now, if the bones twist over slightly, we're most likely pinching a nerve. Nerves control organs. Follow? Okay. One more x-ray I want to go over with you. If we look at the side view of this patient, again, I put arrows here showing that this disc is thinner than the ones below it. So we're starting to see some deterioration of this disc and we're seeing some bone spurs. So once again, one view might look okay, the other view is going to give us a lot more information. And if the discs wear out, the bones get closer and closer together, they pinch the nerves, nerves control organs. So when I ev evaluate a patient, I want to test the nerves that feel pain, I want to test the nerves that don't feel pain, I want to look at the x-rays to see if there's any structural damage, once we evaluate and determine what we're going to have to do to fix it structurally, then we sit down with the patient and we talk about nutrition. Nerves can be damaged from chemical damage or physical damage. Here, we can see physical damage. It's very obvious to see on an x-ray physical damage. And then we evaluate what they're eating to determine if they're having any chemical damage. Because what you put in your body can cause inflammation, inflammation can cause pain. The nerves have to heal. And the nutrients you put in your body are the raw materials to heal the nerves. If you don't put the proper raw materials in, the nerves can't heal. Make sense? Good. So you want to check the nervous system. You want to check the digestive system so you can absorb your nutrients. We want to look at the nutrition. That's why in our office, we work on the patient from different angles. It's more of a holistic approach. Because you can do great diet. You can take supplements, and that's wonderful. But if you have pinched nerves, you're not getting a full effect. It would be like putting really good gas in your car but not having one of the spark plug wires work. You can tune up the spark plug wires, but if you don't put good gas in the car, it's not going to run. Same thing, you can straighten out the spine, but you need the nutrition. And we have to check the digestion, because if you're having gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, acid reflux, these are warning signs telling you something's wrong. You're not absorbing the nutrition. So folks, if you have any questions, my website is right below you. Go to the website, take a look at it, or you can give us a call. The phone number will be there too, 770-427-7387. I hope this answers some questions. If you have any more questions, give us a call or send us an email. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Thanks.